Well, for the Clippers, they got that at a team-friendly uh, number. They want to stay relevant and competitive while they're trying to rebuild, reshape this franchise. Um, they didn't have great offers for Lou Williams, and to keep him at that number uh, allows them. Listen, they can still move him, trade him in the future. At, at a you know a guy who's averaging 23 points, making eight million dollars a year, that's a very tradable asset in the future. But he's played great. Uh, the coaching staff management loves him. And for Lou Williams, he wanted to find a home. He probably could have made a little bit more money this summer in free agency, but it is a difficult market this summer. He loves what he has in L.A. He wanted to stay there. Woj, I promise to never attempt both of your names again. You have <laughs> my word. Woj, 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 Woj. I, forget it. I, no, Woj. You're Woj. Well, it's the perfect. Woj, yeah, it's Woj. perfect. Thanks, guys. Leave um, it alone, Paul. We ignore yeah. the Nerlens part. You know, I, I'm, I'm terrible dys with names. dyslexia. You know, clearly, hey, I, you just said a man's name backwards. backwards. I think he's wearing. <laughs> maybe you're rubbing off on me. Maybe that's what's happening. <laughs> hey, listen, you can't fault a man for wanting to unpack, get comfortable, and make a home for yes, himself. Yes, indeed. But get are you surprised right that he accepted it? I am not surprised. Here's the thing: if you're the Clippers, you don't get better by trading your best players. And Lou Williams has played himself at an all-star level this year. He has a contract that's now team-friendly. He wants to get the bread right now. Sign me up. Allow me to stay in L.A. and we'll deal Say with everything else in Lou, the future. Lou Williams did what? Here we go. Played himself at an all-star so level. I made that comment about <laughs> Lou Will being on the all-star team, y'all looked at me like I was crazy. You huh? was on that. Yeah, I was on that. No, this, we got to keep track of all these. This is a good deal for Lou. Um, obviously, yes, he, he could have gotten more um, in free agency this offseason, but... You know, the guy wants some stability. You know what I mean? Like, he, he was with the Rockets, and then he got traded to the Lakers. He said his kids were wa walking around the house with Rockets jersey on and Lakers. <laughs> like, they were so confused for, for his family. <laughs> so, this is good. I mean, and it's also good for the Clippers as well because it is a contract that it's, it's a, a great contract that they can move if, if need be. I think he could have got a lot more in the offseason. I mean, I know that. We're talking about signing for three or four years, getting that stability, but we're talking about a guy who's almost an all-star. He could have commanded at least $12 million next year. Three years, 36, you think a team wouldn't give Lou Williams that? But like you said, he wanted stability. He still has a tradable contract. But Lou, this is your last chance at a big deal. So this is it. I don't think this is the last chance at a big deal. You and, don't. A, and a bird in the hand is worth more than a bush. He's 31 Damn. years old. He'll be he, gets, he gets shots off He'll the dribble 34. in a league where you can't bump ball handlers. He He's only going to continue contract. to get absolutely. Yeah, I'm just him. saying, not a huge one. It won't be as big as this one he is currently on. But what's the value 30, of stability? The value though? of a 34 like, year old signing a four or five year deal. You know, guys would rather go with a younger player who has the potential to be a Lou Will. So, you know, but hats off to him. He made a great choice. When you got a chance to secure the bag, you, you secure, do it. Man. No question. Yeah. Is that, I mean, look, everybody has their own set of priorities, but if you're, if he's in fact able to get that, is it worth giving up that many dollars to have that kind of stability? Has that ever happened to you guys? Well, you can't tell the future. No. You know, you, That's don't, true. you don't know what's going to happen these next couple months. You don't know how the money dries up so fast in free agents in the summer because at the beginning of free agency, the star players the, are going to get the pick of the litter he's first. He's at the bottom. And so whatever's left, whatever crumbs are left for yeah. the rest of, of the players who are not superstars, all-stars, they're going to get the rest. And it could be a low number this year. It's not like two years ago when you seen guys like Evan Turner getting 70 million, right. Alan Crabb getting 70 million. Batum, it's not those days, those million. days of the role player, they they had a small window. Right, that place, window right is not there no more for these players to get and, that kind of money. And also there's a, a basketball element at play here. For Lou, he's been a, a heat check caliber player, a six man of the year candidate each year. Is he going to be starting point guard? Is he going to be starting shooting guard? on a contending team. You don't want to go into free agency wondering where you're going to be able to get one of those opportunities. Give me the money right now. Yeah.